Hey everyone, welcome back to Crazy Errors, the place where we fix the tech that drives you absolute crazy. Today we are solving one of the most annoying problems on Windows PCs, automatic Wi-Fi disconnection. You're watching a video or attending a Zoom meeting or just browsing a random website and suddenly your Wi-Fi is just gone, boom. Or maybe you shut down your computer and you just turn it back on and there is no Wi-Fi network. You're disconnected already and you wanna go ahead and find a solution to that problem. So this is the video for you. Let's start with the easiest first option. Sometimes your Wi-Fi settings may cause this trouble, wherein we need to first of all jump into the Wi-Fi settings. And to do so on your computer, press two buttons together, Windows and I, that will take you to the settings window. Now on the left side you have a menu and from that menu go ahead and navigate to network and the internet. Now on the right side, as this is Windows 11, go ahead and click on Wi-Fi. I have multiple tiles and I'm already connected to my Wi-Fi network. I do not have a problem right now. However, I wanted to go ahead and click on your connected Wi-Fi network in this window. So in this window, you need to ensure this tiny box is checked at the top, connect automatically when in range. Now the second solution to this problem is about the drivers. You may have outdated Wi-Fi network drivers on your computer. While we are already in the settings window on Windows 11 or Windows 10, you can navigate to Windows Update, which I see at the bottom on left side. And from here, I will push for possible updates. In addition to that, on Windows 10, you would have a tiny option right below this section wherein you will see show optional updates. You can click on that option always and look for possible optional updates there, which will include a lot of drivers updates if you have not done that for quite a while. However, if you're using Windows 11, scroll it down a little bit and click on advanced options. Now I scroll it a little more and over here, optional updates. Click on this option and from this window, you need to simply go ahead and navigate to driver updates, expand it. And that's where you will see some of the driver updates available. After that, you can also go ahead and click on other updates and expand that area. And if you find anything essential, check those boxes just like that and click on download and install. Additionally, open Device Manager on your computer to manually find the driver updates. And to access Device Manager, click on the Windows icon at the bottom or you can click on the search at the bottom and then type Device Manager. Enter to open that. Under Device Manager, this is what you're going to see. You will see a whole bunch of drivers and you need to simply navigate to Network Adapters in this list. Expand it and that's where you will find all your network adapters. And in this section, you need to find out wireless or LAN drivers. Then make a right click on this driver and click on update driver. Search automatically for drivers and we are already up to date. You may have an update available and it may take maybe 10, 20 seconds, maybe a minute to install the updated version of it. If you also see another wireless or maybe LAN driver in the list, you can go ahead and make a right click again and you can go ahead and look for the possible updates for that driver again. In the step number three, the power saving mode on your computer can also cause trouble to your Wi-Fi connectivity. So we need to go ahead and make some changes in network adapters. So again, we will go to device manager, expand network adapters. I see my wireless network adapter right there and I will make a right click on it. Similarly, you would see your wireless network adapter. It can be named something else. Make a right click on it and get to properties this time. Under properties, get to power management. In this window at the top, there is one box which is checked. Allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. And we do not want to do that, so uncheck it and then click on OK. Now we allow our network adapter to work with its full capacity even if our computer is in the power saving mode. Our step number four is going to be still under device manager. We are going to change our network adapter properties. So once again, make a right click on the wireless network adapter, get to properties. And this time we will click on advanced. Under advanced, navigate to roaming aggressiveness and the value should be lowest. So at the moment it's uh, medium. We need to go ahead and make it lowest 
and then click OK. This setting is going to stop your PC from switching the networks too aggressively. These are pretty much instructions that you have to follow. After following all these four steps, go ahead and restart your computer and check out if it is still experiencing problem with the connectivity. Additionally, I'd like to give you some bonus tips here. Number one, get to network and internet under your settings, then Wi-Fi. And here there is a tab which is manage known networks. Click on it. And from this window, go ahead and forget all those networks if you have any extra that you are not aware of. And the final tip is about your security on the computer. If you're using a protection such as Norton, maybe McAfee, and if you have some kind of a VPN service enabled through that security, that can also cause trouble to your Wi-Fi connectivity and the browsability sometime. So you can go ahead and maybe put your uh, security temporarily in the silent mode and then try it again if that you know makes an impact on your computer. If that does, then you might have to remove your security and you have to install that back again. Well, this is pretty much it in this video. I hope you found this video helpful and you were able to overcome this crazy Wi-Fi error on your Windows PC. If your Wi-Fi still keeps disconnecting, let me know in the comment. I'll help you out personally if I can. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if this video helped you. And you can also go ahead and check out our other videos about how you can create a restore point and maybe how you can optimize your computer for the optimum performance. I will go ahead and share the links in the description below. You can check them out. You're watching Crazy Editors for tech tips, tricks and solutions. Have a lovely rest of day and I'll see you in the next one.